hi everybody it is December 30 2018 I just want to address some comments that were left below this video that I posted last night on the New York City sky turning bright blue blue and then it switches off like somebody flipped a switch and those who left comments saying that lasers were blowing up these transformers in Louisiana and others who were leaving comments saying no they're lens flares I have to agree with the lens flare so whoever is saying that it's a laser um, alright this is the lasers that people are talking about I guess those are lens flares from the camera I've had that happen when I'm filming and when my camera goes into a bright light it shoots off this flare and yeah so um, you can watch this compilation of electricity has so uh, has such amazing power but as you can see it, there's lens flares um, now someone also linked below to this video and I don't understand it um, but I do want to show you right here this was a video embedded in Mia's video and watch how the blue sky goes off <laughs> What the fuck? Okay. Um, and I don't really understand what Mia is talking about. I I would really have to go back and look at uh, previous videos to understand. I think she's talking about some natural happening that's going to be happening. But also says, you know, there are no nuclear missiles, no ICBMs, and the technology that people think that well I guess the elite psychopaths are using doesn't exist um, and I should preface that I think I got it right with what she is saying um, but also says that mainstream media when it's playing it on every channel you can bet that the narrative is deceptive so when mainstream media has this blue sky, they're reporting on it, they would have to report on it because, wow, when you, uh, when you do a, a YouTube search of what was happening in the sky in New York City, I, I can't believe how many videos. How could mainstream media ignore this? Um, certainly the transformer blowing is um, a lie. Were there any power outages? I don't think so. I did get one comment, uh, I believe from a New Yorker saying it wasn't a transformer that blew, there were no power outages. So what was happening? Um, according to Mia, I guess, they don't have the technology to do this having an epiphany yet the comments were disabled which well that's upsetting because I wanted to understand um, what it was that she was saying well we do have the technology so I don't understand when people come out and say something definitively are they on the inside with you know this knowledge that they have to come out and state something definitively what did I say I said it may be the technocrats who are playing around with us we don't know we can do research we could spend a lifetime doing research on one subject come up with a lot of conflicting information that that is really you know the the trick you know to um, discern which direction to go a lot of people have gone to the there are no nuclear weapons um, 
was the atomic bomb that was dropped over Nagasaki and um, Hiroshima, was that like a staged Hollywood movie for us? Okay, um, there are some subjects that I have not delved into and researched. So, can I say definitively that there are nuclear weapons? No, because I haven't delved into that subject. But, does that mean that they can't create an EMP with a nuclear bomb? Well, I've done enough research to understand that they certainly can create what appears to be a nuclear bomb that would set off an electromagnetic pulse that would take down the grid. All right. Well, look, anybody saying that they don't have the technology, you know, that something is happening that is natural and when it occurs then people are going to be pointing at they, the psychopathic elitists who are using this technology we're going to blame them and that's the wrong way to go all right um uh i don't know what to do with that i really don't they do have the technology now this is also another video filmed by someone in New York. Look at how blue that sky is. And it's not the entire sky. It's just one, one uh, direction of the sky. But what happens? They turn it off. It just goes off. Look at the pulsating light, by the way. You see this pulsating? Lots of energy. Oh, and it's turned off. Okay. Um, but there have been, throughout uh, the years, blue skies showing up. I'm not going to play this video because these are kids, I don't know, are they in Ireland or Britain, uh, doing a lot of cursing. But the, the, the girl who is filming suddenly says, oh my god, the sky turned blue. And it's black, as you can see, and then it turns blue. Wow. And then it only lasts for a few seconds, and it goes right back to black. Um, here, another one. And I don't know where this is, but... Uh, looks very similar to New York, except New York, they were able to sustain that blue glow. Whereas here, it only appeared for a few seconds. I have seen the night sky turn bright white or a similar bluish color to this in Kentucky and these this was uh, back in 2009 this was October of last year the Weather Channel explaining how the sky turns green they don't come out and say it's a fact but they're talking about a tornado and the sky can turn green before a tornado hits um, and you have these NASA sites explaining why we see so many different colors in the sky before the earthquake, you know, hit Japan. Well, they're just coming up with uh, reasons for what is taking place. And what is taking place, I absolutely do believe that it is man using the technology. We know that harp can create auroras, but before I get to that, um, here's the night sky turning red then blue. And it's only 
seven seconds, so it comes fast. Boom. Okay. It goes from like a reddish to purple to blue. And remember the purple sky, Hurricane Michael. Okay. What's happening? We know that HARP has created artificial auroras. We know that HARP has been able to create plasma and sustain it. And we also know that, well, one color of the aurora, the most co um, common color is green. I've seen green here in Anderson, South Carolina. Um, but artificial ionosphere creates bullseye in the sky. Really? They can create a bullseye in the sky. Harp managed to induce a strange bullseye pattern in the night sky. Instead of the expected fuzzy donut shaped blob, surprising irregular luminescent bands radiated out from the center of the bullseye. Um, here is a harp uh, spectacular. And this was uh, photographed over Siberia. Amazing glowing aerial ball leaves. Siberians in awe. And here, Norway, they have some kind of weird spiral thing happening. It's bluish coming out in the night sky. Um, anybody who could possibly say that they don't have the technology to do this, I don't get it. I don't get it. But when you state things definitively and then you have people who watch videos, they don't do research, they like you and they want to believe everything that you say. Then they go on other channels and leave their definitive statement. And that only creates div division. Uh, free floating atmospheric pressure ball plasmas. You know, what I think it was, um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be HARP, it could be the Doppler radar stations. The high frequency heating of the ionosphere. All right, so HARP, what can HARP do? And the Doppler radar stations, you can think of as mini HARP stations. Um, pulse transmitters on and off to create radio induced aurora, also known as air glow. Energetic electrons ionize and excite gases in the upper atmosphere. They release photons and Photons, like colors, light. They release photons when they de-excite again. We're doing the process from below with high frequency radio waves, Doppler radar stations. Um, and another experiment was to create a temporary bright spot in the night sky that will be the size of a thumbnail at arm's length. And if you go to these images and scroll down, you'll find the night sky with a very bright red um, glowing portion of the sky. And I'm not going to look for it, but um, so when you do have the knowledge that these radio waves, the high frequency heating of the ionosphere, that they can create artificial auroras? Could they not create that blue? Could it be plasma? Um, particular gases will create particular colors. We know that they have been dumping an awful lot of chemicals and heavy metals into our atmosphere. We know that our atmosphere now is ionized. You stick in a little electricity into that ionized atmosphere. Well, and you can create glowing clouds that look like they're burning. Um, so this guy Fallon, who was doing this experiment, was going to be posting on Twitter when he was tickling the ionosphere from below so people can look for that red uh, glowing spot in our sky. This um, site, well, you'll get an awful lot of information on the artificial aurora created by HARP. And there is one 
um, here. Creation of artificial ionospheric layers using high power, high frequency waves. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to show you this. Um, time lapse video of the HARP artificial aurora red line emissions recorded from Poker Flat. And this is the video. Anybody who can say we don't have the technology to create this is really, I just don't understand that. Um, every gas has its own ionization energy. So when you ignite your plasma, you give energy to the electrons to move to the excited states. And when it releases to the ground states, it emits photons, light. And the wavelength of this photon indicates the color of the emitted light. Plasma. What makes the usual plasma glow blue? Now, I'm just giving you pieces of information. I'm not going to spend hours and hours and hours and hours researching to tell you exactly how this is done how they can create a sky that looks blue and then boom the switch goes off um, but when you can just put together some of the information you can generally if you have a basis of knowledge because of the research that you have done with harp and uh, the creation of the artificial auroras and um, you also when you understand that our atmosphere has has been permanently altered it's not going back um, and also when you have here I don't I don't get it I don't get it alright so apparently Mia also goes into stating that People are observing, you know, the different colors in our sky all over. All right. Um, but I guess doesn't bring up the geoengineering, the microwaves, the ionized atmosphere, the dumping of lithium and chemicals and heavy metals, and then hitting them with microwaves um, could very well create what you are seeing right there. You see all of the microwaves in the sky. But apparently all of this is an indication that something natural is going to happen. Well, I don't think so. Um, how do you explain the black? You know, the, the, no, I've posted videos on the pink, and I believe that they have saturated our atmosphere to the point where now the saturation is just, we're, we've, overloaded our atmosphere to um, see now these pink and purple and well whatever uh, the gold colors um, all they need is you know electricity um, electromagnetic frequencies to charge particles and because the atmosphere is is now so overloaded with all of these very toxic heavy metals and chemicals um, that is what you are seeing I don't think that this is uh, a indication that something natural is taking place here. You know, when you see all of the black carbon dust, and we know that they use black carbon dust for uh, to modify the weather, the coal ash as well. Um, are people just going to simply deny that and, and claim that all of this is a natural happening? 
people are claiming that a planet is coming and all right, well, I can't go there. Um, I, they do have the technology to create what you saw in, over the, uh, in the sky and, you know, over New York City. Here, you excite the electrons. We know that they've been doing this. You excite the electrons in those molecules, the excited electrons, eventually relax and when electrons relax they give off energy it just so happens that sometimes the energy is in the form of visible light and that can give our night sky many many colors so I'll link below to all of this information this is an artificial aurora created by Hark. Wow Earth's aurora are well known for appearing as a bright green glow across the night sky well, I will tell you, I haven't seen that bright, but I have seen green across the horizon. Just a green, and then sometimes like a purple. I've posted videos showing you the different colors. We've got purple, we've got red, we've got pink, we've got green, we've got gold, we've got black, we've got a whole lot of colors. Well, you excite the electrons and understand this we do have an ionized sky now um, they can create an awful lot but this could be our sky in in real life now you know when you see skies like this and you now it's just magnificent what is taking place in our skies. And you know that harp can bring about this. Yeah. Could our Doppler radar stations bring about this? Yes. But when we have been overloaded with all of these heavy metals and chemicals and they're doing so many different things. Um, you excite the atmosphere with all of that. You can create a sky that looks like that. So, yeah, I will post a, a link to all of the articles if you want to check it out. I am not saying that that's exactly what occurred over New York City. All I'm saying is it's a possibility. But for all of those who are coming out claiming this is what occurred, um, that makes me suspect of you. Who are you to come out and, and think that you know what's going, what's going on? Considering that so much is going on, they do have technology that we know about. What about the technology that they don't know about, um, that we don't know about? And... Um, the, the, all you can do is your best to get enough uh, knowledge and then you're left to speculate. You're left to say, I think based on my research, it could be this. I can't definitively say anything, but neither can anybody else. So, yeah, let's... Um, Let's not, you know, state things so definitively as if, you know, somebody knows this is, this is what's going on. Because that creates division. Because you set other people up to then leave comments. And some people leave it like, you idiot, it's this. Well, we've got a lot of people who are really, yeah. Um, and... It's not, it's really not necessary. So, uh, yeah, have a good night. Hope you have a good tomorrow. Ciao, guys.